वन स्टार्ट दी फैक्ट्स आर दैट सैयद मजहर हुसैन शाह कोमा हेड कॉन्स्टेबल इंचार्ज प्रोक्लेम्ड ऑफेंडर्स स्टाफ कोमा गुजरात एंड एट अदर कॉन्स्टेबल्स एज वेल एज एट प्राइवेट पर्सन आर एक्यूज इन अ कंप्लेंट केस बाय द एपीलॉन्ट फॉर द मर्डर ऑफ हिज टू सन्स अंडर सेक्शन वन टू जीरो बी कोमा वन फोर एट कोमा थ्री जीरो टू एंड वन जीरो नाइन ओब्लिक वन फोर नाइन पी पी सी फुल स्टॉप इट वॉज कंप्लेंड बाय द एपीलॉन्ट दैट इन परसुएंस ऑफ अ कॉन्स्पायरेसी द रिस्पोंडेंट्स कमिटेड द क्राइम अंडर सेक्शन गिवन अब ऑन As police officials were involved in the case, comma it was given a color of police encounter, and a lot of public attention was attracted to the case. Full stop. No case, comma. However, comma could be registered with the police, comma. Therefore, comma the appellant filed a complaint on 18/7/1984. Full stop. A judicial inquiry was made in the matter. by mr mohammad musa khan comma magistrate first class comma gujarat in which the respondents were found guilty but in another inquiry conducted by the assistant commissioner comma mandi bahudin comma the police officials comma accused in the complaint were exonerated and therefore the complaint was lodged full stop the complaint came up before a learned session judge comma gujarat who proceeded under section 204 of the crpc Chal- recorded preliminary evidence and issued process against the respondents on 177985 full stop in response to the summons issued by the learner session judge comma the respondents appeared in court moved application for bail before arrest full stop relying on the provisions of sections 90 and 91 crpc comma the learner session judge rejected the bail application on 29 10 1985 holding that there were grounds for proceeding further in the matter full stop the respondents then moved in the high court their bail before arrest through criminal miscellaneous number 2807b of 1985 on 12 11 which came up for hearing before mr justice mohammad rafiq the same day comma who admitted the respondents to interim bail and then on 7 12 1985 confirmed the bail through the impugned order comma hence the present appeal for stop new para we have heard the learned counsel for the parties and have gone through the orders of the courts below full stop the learned single judge while allowing bail to the respondents has observed comma the learned session judge was empowered to issue warrants or summons for causing the accused to be brought or to appear before him and exercising that power he issued summons to the petitioners in response to which they appeared before him he was comma therefore comma required to proceed under section 91 crpc full stop and to direct them to execute bonds with or without sureties for their appearance in the court full stop the section comma by necessary implication also empowers the court to commit the person present in the court to custody if he fails to give security for his attendance process is issued to the accused when the court taking cognizance of the offence is of the opinion that there is sufficient ground for proceeding full stop such opinion is not to be equated with the existence of reasonable ground for believing that the accused was guilty of an offence punishable with death or imprisonment for life or imprisonment for 10 years we have considered the arguments of the learned counsel for the parties in the light of the above observation and we are of the view that the learned single judge was justified in admitting the respondents to bail full stop his findings are 
unexceptionable and need to interference this appeal fails and is hereby dismissed full stop and closed